Hello, everyone. I'm Rachel Handler, and welcome to the Disability Channel, New York City. I'm so excited to be hosting the first ever episode of the Today Show in New York City. And um, as I said, my name's Rachel Handler. I live here in Jersey City, right across the river from New York, where we have some amazing views of the city skyline. Um, so I'm thrilled to be here looking at the Empire State Building right now outside my window. And I love living here and I'm an actor, a writer, a director, a producer, and all of my films uh, include actors with disabilities and stories about disability. Um, I myself, I wear a prosthetic leg and I became disabled in 2012. And ever since I joined this community, I have felt um, so welcomed and so just thrilled to be part of such an abundant community of amazing people, people who have been through a lot, seen a lot, and are resilient and adaptive and fighting for their rights um, as disabled people, because we all know there's a lot of discrimination still. Um, so I just want to thank our sponsor for today's show. We are proud to have Accessibe as a sponsor on the show and a key supporter of the Disability Channel employment programs. Accessibe, the leaders in web accessibility, are on a mission to make web accessibility accessible so everyone, regardless of their budget, knowledge, and skills, can participate in the global inclusion efforts. So thank you, Accessibe. I think web um, accessibility is so important because if 2020 taught us anything, it's that uh, Zoom is a thing and being online is a big thing. Um, so, you know, if you're in a wheelchair in New York, it can be hard to get to places because the subway system is not very uh, accessible for wheelchairs or even if you're on crutches, you know, there's just a billion steps. So in 2020, when everything went online, it was kind of nice for those of us with mobility accessibilities um, because we didn't have to use the subway anymore, which was a gift from the heavens. But uh, web accessibility is really important um, for many people with disabilities. So Accessibility, thank you for doing the work. Um, we in New York appreciate it, and I'm sure worldwide, everyone appreciates it. Um, so I just wanna talk a little bit more about the films that I've made and my work with the Disability Channel so far. Um, I first met Jay uh, just a few months ago, and um, we, we collaborated on some interviews and some footage from Runway of Dreams fashion show here in New York City. So Runway of Dreams, if you haven't heard of it, go ahead and Google it, find their Instagram page. They're an amazing uh, organization where they... Um, showcase models with disabilities in New York Fashion Week, and the models all wear adaptive clothing. So there are stores like Kohl's and Target now. Um, Tommy Hilfiger has a whole line of adaptive wear. So these models wear those clothes, um, you know, the jeans, if there are dexterity issues. Some jeans will have magnets or Velcro instead of buttons or zippers. Um, so it's just a different way of thinking about making fashion accessible. And I have to tell you, when I saw the runway show last year in September, I was blown away by all of the models and the clothes they were wearing. Um, Runway of Dreams, such an important organization doing such amazing work. So I went there on behalf of the Disability Channel and interviewed some amazing models, some amazing audience members. I mean, I interviewed a soap opera star who was there to support and be an amazing ally to the disabled community. So if you haven't already seen some of those clips from the Runway of Dreams fashion show on the Disability Channel YouTube channel, go ahead and check them out. Um, I'm just so thrilled 
to be part of the Disability Channels Network now. Um, from Runway of Dreams to future interviews with, you know, some New York actors with disabilities, uh, some New York writers and directors with disabilities. And New York is really a melting pot. So you can expect some other people also not in the entertainment industry, but in the fashion industry from Runway of Dreams or from Open Style Lab here in New York, where they have students creating clothes for people with disabilities. Um, I was one of the models for the students in, gosh, I think it was 2018 or 2017. And they created this amazing skirt for me to wear with my prosthetic leg where I could hide my prosthetic leg when I didn't want to deal with people staring at me. And then I could flip the skirt so my prosthetic leg was showing and I could show it off when I did want people to see me and see the leg and ask questions, you know? So Open Style Lab is also really cool um, here in New York. And, uh, you know, there are also some amazing um, people with disabilities working as computer programmers here, you know, um, as bankers here in New York. Um, it really is a city of hard workers and people who are willing to come here and really study and learn and grow and develop their careers. So I'm really excited to do those interviews and continue this conversation. So we'll take a quick break. And then when I come back, I'm so excited to introduce you to Jay Stoyan, the founder of the Disability Channel. See you soon. unstoppable. We shoot for the stars. And we can achieve anything we set our minds to. We're entrepreneurs. We are community leaders. Athletes. Artists. Organic farmers. We are mothers and daughters. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. And yet, people with disabilities probably can't use your website. To buy your shoes. Order your food. Apply for your job. To use your thin inside. Just like everybody else. For well, millions of Americans. America. Like, like me. me. Like, like, like me. 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 Like me. The internet is inaccessible. Hey, if your business has a website, Make it accessible for everyone. everyone. Unlock web accessibility with Accessibi. It's simple and affordable. And don't just do it to be compliant. Do it because it's the right thing to do. Web accessibility is Accessibi. Start your free trial today. All about inclusion and really giving everyone a fair say. Welcome to the Today Show. This is our flagship show. I am Unstoppable Tracy. I am Zach Damon. It is a pleasure to be here. I am excited. What is up? We have a great show today. Jay Stoyan here for the Disability Channel, the world's only inclusive channel for and by persons with disabilities. Get ready to be inspired, everyone. We have people watching from all over the world, but also all over Ontario. We also take a concerted attention in the veterans community. In moments of stress and trauma, we can get a hold of ourselves. To help make a difference for people with disabilities, to show people how to love themselves or their disability. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys having me, giving this platform for myself and other people with disabilities. Thank you so much, folks, for joining us for this episode of the Disability Channel of Detroit. Please tune in next time. Hello, Jay. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you for inviting me on to your debut New York show. We're so excited to have you on our team. So thank you for joining our team. And thank you for sharing your own story, which is amazing, by the way. So very much appreciated. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I realized I didn't talk much about myself. I tend to talk about other 
issues and people and organizations that are doing incredible work. But um, as an actor, I guess I should talk about myself more, right? That's like- Yeah, let's talk a little bit about you. Now, I know like (laughs) we were talking before and I know you just came back from, I believe, San Francisco. And I think you were in New Orleans too, were you not? That's coming up. I'm filming a TV show uh, in New Orleans next week. Yes. Yes. Wow. And tell us about, so what were you doing out in San Fran? So in San Francisco, I started actually as a musical theater performer. I went to college for musical theater. And then when I lost my leg, I actually um, got laughed out of a musical theater audition. They heard me sing and they were like, amazing voice. We want to invite you to the callbacks, but it's a dance callback. So ha ha ha. And I was like, is this what it's going to be like now? You know, it was... It was awful. Um, So I stopped doing musicals for a while, but I went to San Francisco because I was uh, cast in a new musical and it was such an amazing experience. The role actually was written, um, specifically they were hoping to cast someone with a disability in this role. Uh, She's a track coach and the musical is called Alice Bliss. It's a gorgeous new musical. And um, I played a track coach who also happens to be a veteran who lost her leg, you know, in the war, um, being in the army. So it's an incredible new musical. I get to sing a ton of songs. So it was an amazing experience with Theater Works in San Francisco. And hopefully we'll be performing the musical again soon. So it's it's a beautiful musical, super inclusive. um, And the music, oh my gosh, the music just gorgeous so yeah make sure you keep us posted as we love to showcase it if we're able and support you in this great endeavor so that's wonderful i do want to touch on one thing i really appreciate you sharing your experience like you said about about losing your leg i know that must have been extremely difficult and this is what we're all about right this is what the channel is all about we're all about sharing experiences supporting each other so many people around the world are disabled or are going to become disabled So we thought it was very important to create a platform like this where we can showcase abilities, right? We we, uh, do not discriminate. So we invite every disabled people into our club, whether you're brown, black, male, female, 72 years old, doesn't matter. We're we're one big, Mm -hmm. we're the biggest club in the world. We're the biggest club in the world. So for you sharing your experience, and it must have been... Like for myself, I have an incurable illness. I've had it all, I've had it my whole life. So Mm -hmm. I don't know any different, right? I've been around the Mayo Clinic, Cleveland Clinic, sick kids, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I don't know any difference. For you, like you said before, you lost your leg, you're a fully able-bodied person. So can you just, and I don't want to get into it too much, but can you just share maybe a couple thoughts on on that time? Sure. I mean, becoming disabled was scary at first because I wasn't sure, like I didn't even know what a prosthetic leg looked like, you know? Um, Even in the past 10 years, uh, representation in film and TV and theater has really, really grown for people with disabilities. Um, So I feel lucky in a way that I became disabled at a good time to sort of be disabled. (laughs) It's like on trend now, Uh you know, like, the role I'm about to film is a disability specific role. So writers are out there writing roles for people with disabilities. Um, I'm writing roles for people with disabilities. So I think it's a good time. Um, yeah. That's great. Yeah. No, I really thank you. And I really, I really think you're going to be just a, a real pillow for us in New York City. Um, because I know you're a mover and a shaker, like you're talking about uh, interviewing Dave Stevens on Runway. So that was wonderful. And we have so many things going on, including I wanted to give a big shout out again to our our sponsor, Accessibility. Thanks, guys. Elon, beautiful people, wonderful people. They stepped up. Um, I know they're uh, really big within the Jewish community, both in New York City and back in Tel Aviv. But I really want to thank the guys for stepping up because without them, you know, it's very hard to produce anything because everything comes with a budget and we want to showcase everybody. So again, I just want to thank them. We're going to show a couple clips during the commercial, but if it's okay, I'd like to talk a little bit about the channel and what we do. Um, yes, please. Yeah. I wanted to ask you about the channel and you know, what, what was the impetus for the disability channel? Like what inspired yeah. you? Yeah. Well, 
like I said, like I have a wonderful family. We had a, a wonderful Julia Corporation that our family ran. Until about 2001, we sold it. We were in downtown Toronto and I kind of, I guess I kind of retired, but not really because I was still very young and I didn't know, I really didn't know what to do. So I had an opportunity to pick something and I chose the entertainment business. And one thing led to another. I had my own late night show on Fox after Friends. And, uh, but I didn't tell anybody I had an illness. That was always in the back of my mind. Nobody knew other than no employer knew because they probably wouldn't hire me, right? The only people I knew were my right. friend, close friends and family. And I was on Fox for quite some time. And then I just had an idea to say, you know, I love what I do. Um, and I bet you there's a lot of other people out there that have mobility issues, but they love to talk. There's a lot of people out there that love yeah. to talk. So I thought, you know what, this might be an opportunity for my community, people who have disabilities or illnesses who still want to work and are able to work, but unfortunately they're not getting the opportunity. So yeah. I sat down and I just created a template and the tagline is the disability channel by and for persons with disabilities and veterans, because we're huge on veterans, showcasing abilities in media through employment programs. So that's what we do. We have two pillars. One is our employment programs in media for persons with disabilities and veterans. You can go to our website, www.thedisabilitychannel.ca. And soon we're gonna have, actually right now, we're just constructing uh, the disabilitychannel.us. So we're gonna have a US website for our US people because we're expanding across the United States. We're gonna be debuting just like today's show. We're gonna be debuting in LA later this month as we're going to the Super Bowl for the fifth year in a row as media with our uh, sports show and sports hosts, Casey McKay and Dave Stevens on Pressbox. So we're gonna be pumping out later and promoting it. Again, we interview everybody from the Gronk to Tom Brady to Evander Holyfield, whoever's at the Super Bowl, right? So we have media, yeah, first row media accreditation. So that's exciting. And um, so there's a couple other things, but really what we're doing is we're expanding our reach we're expanding our awareness. We're expanding our association. We have some wonderful associates from the Cleveland Clinic, both here in Toronto, where I am. Actually, this is our head office here in Toronto, Canada. And we also deal big with the Cleveland Clinic USA, um, our leading newspaper up here called the Toronto Star, the NFL, our beautiful associates of ours, Easter Seal. So there's great, great things. There's actually a company in New York City that we're hopefully going to be uh, connecting with. I'm just going to pull up their name here quickly on my phone. And uh, they are, who are they? They are, do, 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 do. Uh, where are they? I can't find it. I'll find it. Ah, the Manhattan Neighborhood hey. Network. There you go. Thank yes. you. Yeah, so hopefully we're going to be teaming up with them. And, and again, showcasing abilities and opportunities to the people of New York City. And Jersey, and Jersey, and Jersey, yeah, right. All the, the surrounding area. We like, we love to be in every community across New York City, from Manhattan to the Bronx, to uh, to Jersey, to all over, and just offering opportunities and employment. So again, what it is is you. I'll give you like the lowdown. So we connect with local governments, states, ability organizations, corporations, get people off assistance, get them into our programs, and they become self-sufficient, either part-time or full-time, right? So whether you mm -hmm. can work 40 hours a week or you can work 10 hours a week, we work from home. So a lot of it is mobility issues, right? So you can work from home just yeah. like we're doing the show today. Obviously, we would like yeah. to get back in person. That would right? be nice. But like today, like I mentioned, like I just hurt my back pretty badly yesterday. So if I had to come to a studio today... I don't know if I can make it. So it's really nice to have the opportunity to work from home. You know, I think the pandemic really showed us that whew, being able to work from home is really important for a lot of people. So. I, I totally agree. So why, why, why don't we uh, take a, a little bit of a break and uh, why don't we come back and I want you to tell me more about New York City because I got some really good plans so, going on. Awesome. Sounds great. <laughs> Hi all, this is uh, Mike Kessel. I'm the CEO of Cleveland Clinic Canada. 
And I wanted to thank uh, Jay and the Disability Channel for all the great work they do. And I know they have a big fundraiser coming up on October 12th this year. I wish them nothing but the best. And I'm thrilled to participate in the fundraiser. Thank you all. Take care. Hi, everyone. I am Master Sergeant Retired Anna Maria Bliven and privileged to be the host of Veterans Onward to Prosperity. Each episode brings you more information, sources, and resources by which you can manage your life, live a life, and thrive in your life. So stay tuned to all of our episodes and be the best you you can be. Hello, hello. <laughs> so tell me tell me about a little bit of New York City. Like tell me a little bit about Jersey City and how close are you? Like tell our people how close are you to the Big Apple? Oh yeah, so I'm here in Jersey City looking at the Empire State Building from my window. Um I take the path train into the city. It's about a 10 minute train ride. Um it's probably closer than a lot of places in Brooklyn, but a tiny bit cheaper. So yeah. <laughs> The main reason I moved to Jersey City was actually because of my health insurance. Um, in New Jersey, uh, on the marketplace, I'm able to get health insurance um, that covers my prosthetic legs. So I never have to pay out of pocket for my prosthetic legs. Um, whereas in New York, uh, New York has wording on their marketplace policies for insurance. Um, it says one limb per lifetime excluding repairs and replacements. Um, so that makes it difficult to get a new prosthetic leg. This also actually, um, any durable medical equipment really in New York state is pretty hard to get. Um, my friend Andrea is a nurse in New York and she has not been able to get a wheelchair through her insurance for seven years now. Um, and I actually made a documentary about this for the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge. Oh, you um, did. Yeah, I did, because I was shocked at how hard it is here in America um, to get what we need, you know, as disabled women, disabled people. Um, so I interviewed four of my friends and um, it just, you know, talked about our journeys uh, in New York versus New Jersey. There can be a huge difference even. So that's why I ended up in Jersey. I was like, I can't afford to spend $10,000 on a leg and I don't want to wait for insurance for paperwork for years to be able to get a new leg. So in Jersey, it's just a lot easier for me. Wow, that's super important insight. Yeah. You would never know that unless you actually had to go through it. So you're yeah. a wealth of knowledge, Rachel, for a community. <laughs> like that's, so I guess like in the States, every state kind of runs their own show, right? Like even though you guys got 50 states, everybody, every state kind yeah. of runs their own show. So what you get in one state, you might not get it in the next state, just like you just stated. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Um, I have a lot of friends in New York and Long Island and the city who struggle to get um, what they need. Like one person has a foot that's been falling apart. And uh, insurance is just taking forever to approve a new foot <laughs> for her to walk on. And, um, wow. you know, if like I have a foot that has an adjustable heel so I can wear high heels if I want. And I love having that option, but I might not be able to get that in some other states. So I think Jersey it's really, sounds pretty good. Yeah. 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 I lucked out. I was born and raised in Jersey. So I lived in New York City for a bit, but came back when I realized how much better the insurance was here. Yeah. Wow. And I know you guys had a close governor race. He almost lost his uh, governorship. Oh, yeah. It was really close this year. It was really so, close. Yeah. Isn't that the yeah. guy in there that won something who's a trucker? Didn't a trucker win something? Oh, or I'm not sure. Yeah, but I know your I know your governor almost lost his bid. He, it went right down to the wire. So I guess people are Almost. you know people are paying more attention. I guess. I think and, so. They both had similar policies on health insurance and health care, but um, yeah, it's uh, it was a tight so can, race this year. Can you tell me about the vibe of New York City? Like, how's New York City now with COVID? And I know you guys have a uh, well, not you because you're in New Jersey, but yeah. you know, okay. right next door. I know you have a new mayor elect and all that. So, how's mm -hmm. the vibe? You get it? Are you getting any any feedback? Any vibe in New York City? How you guys are doing there? 
You know, New York City is a little rough um, because COVID has been hitting hard lately. I just recovered from COVID. Um, it's felt pretty unavoidable. Um, I, I, I got COVID um, for Christmas. <laughs> Happy oh, Christmas. <laughs> wow, well, you bounced yeah. back great, so you bounced back quick. Thank you. I did. Um, I've I've been vaccinated, so I feel very fortunate um, that my symptoms were very mild. Um, just felt like a cold with some chest tightness. So all of that's pretty much gone. I was able to do a workout yesterday, but oh, um, that's when I injured my back. I oh. was not I was not quite ready to lift those weights that much again <laughs> well i tell you right now yeah. it's tough like just to keep structure and to keep a routine going it's been very tough over the last Ooh. two years right for everybody yeah. how have you been coping you know what's what's been a lifesaver for you over the last two years rachel oh my gosh honestly it's been writing films and making films um i've done the disability film challenge for the past two years during the pandemic the first year was the documentary about health insurance and then last year I did a mockumentary about uh, typecasting um, for disabled actors in the industry. You know, I, I feel like a lot of the shows I've seen have put disabled actors in four categories. We're either the hospital patient, the victim, the dead body, or the angry military veteran you know wow. um, yeah. Wow. yeah so your work has really kept you kept you sane i guess kept you, it's really helped you a lot it really has yeah i've enjoyed writing and i work with a writing partner on a new um pilot script for a tv show and that's been winning some awards lately so we're excited to see where that goes um yeah writing has been a saving grace i think i'm kind of the same i love to work like i love to work at this because i don't consider this work you know, I yeah, just do, I just love to do this. I do this 24 seven. I get in trouble sometimes from people around me saying, you know, but yeah, so I do that. And for me, it's been uh, actually daily drives. I live uh, right. I live in a city, um, but I'm minutes away from the country. I really live right on a lake. So it's like I can just disappear wow. in my car. So we go for drives every day, just if I'm going to work. Right. So I go for a 40 minute drive or whatever. I turn on the music in my car and we look at all the water and the, the greenery and the scenery. It, it actually keeps me sane. And then I've also, I've uh, picked up guitar over the last two years. So I've learned how to play guitar over the last nice. two years. I'm not very good because it's so hard to learn, but it's, it's very enjoyable. It's very zen. It's mm -hmm. so zen for me and it's so challenging. It's like, mm -hmm. oh my God, my head explodes, like trying to learn new chords and new songs and the tempo. So that's actually yeah. saved me over the last two years is my work, because I love to do it, uh, going for drives. Um, my family, they've been awesome, right? My girlfriend's awesome yeah. with me. And, and of course, and, and playing music. So um, I think we want to take another break. And then I think I want to come back and tell your viewers are soon to be thousands and thousands of fans um <laughs> what's going on with the channel and how people can get involved and how they can uh support us or find out updates and everything so why don't we take another uh quick break i know i'm sort of co-hosting your show with you sorry about that no it's great you're yeah. like my first interview it's well, yeah I just because you know <laughs> it's just because i i mean i know you know the channel but i i live and breathe it 24 7 for so long so it's like i'm you know just trying to get in there so so let's take a quick break and then we'll come back and we'll talk about some more updates and then if people want to find out more information about you too rachel that would be great great sounds good see you in a minute <laughs> Wild Child Records throughout the GTA showcasing new music releases and updates from all four parts of the globe. Hi, I'm Eric Mundras. You're watching the Disability Channel, showcasing abilities. I'm Zach Damon, host of the Disability Channel Detroit. Please join us at the Disability Channel and watch the Disability Channel Detroit for all your Michigan disability information. All right. Okay, so 
what I want to do is I want to talk a little bit about what we have going on. So let's just start at the top. I have a lot of stuff going on. So um, so we're, we're, we're big in Detroit. We're on CTN Channel 17 and 18 in Detroit. We're going to be expanding into uh, Lansing and further across Michigan. And the idea is to expand right across the United States into every state. Um, teaming up with local governments to showcase our employment program opportunities in media, and then to team up with the local television station, whether that's community, because we're big on community. We're all about the community, helping the people within mm-hmm. the community, and mainstream, because we are mainstream. We just signed a deal in Canada, actually, to be on the largest network called Bell 5. So Bell 5 TV, we're going to be on every uh, Monday to Friday, 11 p.m., with our flagship show called the Today Show Toronto. So you're the Today Show New York. We're wow. gonna, yeah, Today Show Toronto, Today Show Halton, Today Show Wisconsin, and Today Show Detroit. So we are, and now, and, it's, and we're going to be debuting in LA. So we're going to have about five, six, or seven, or eight Today Shows. And the idea is to get them every morning, five days a week. Just say good morning, America, but you know, got to get there. So the bell is a yeah. huge. Bell to us is like Comcast to you guys. It's the biggest network up here in Canada. So we're going to be mainstream five days a week, 11 p.m. that I'll be hosting. I mean, we'll probably have alternate hosts, but I think I'll be hosting that. So that's that's really good news to share. I've been trying to do that for 10 years. 10 years I've been trying to get get us to go mainstream, banging on the doors for 10 years. Wow, that's huge. Yeah, Yeah. and we're actually also going to be on Carabvision. Right, Care of Vision, courtesy of a great lady. I'm going to have you on her show and vice versa, uh, D Boss Network. So we're in Care of Vision, 22 countries around the world. We're on Bell. We're in Canada. We're in the United States. So we are expanding, and it's all about providing opportunities, right? And entertainment. And entertainment because we have different types of shows, which I should mention a few. We have a wonderful veteran show called Veterans Onward to Prosperity. It's all about transitioning from the battlefield to the workforce. And it's hosted by a retired veteran, Anna Marie Blevin, out of Wisconsin. To go along with that, we have a fundraiser coming up. Our second fundraiser, uh, February 22nd at Wisconsin Dells in Wisconsin, which is, I believe, America's largest indoor park at the Kalahari yeah. Resort. Yeah. How and it's cool. for veterans. You know? It's all for veterans. Amazing. I just drove through there. Um, yeah. I went on a huge Midwest road trip for Thanksgiving since my fiance is from South Dakota. And we drove through Wisconsin Dells. How cool is that? Really? Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. See, I, I don't know because obviously I'm from Toronto, right? So I, I've just heard and everybody has bragged how nice it is. So once we, once they found out that this is a whole uh, fundraiser, drone ball drop, um, and job fair day, Wisconsin Dells jumped right on board and said, it's for veterans. Yep, we're, we're supporting veterans. We're raising funds for veterans because we had one up here mm-hmm. in October for persons with disabilities and veterans, but the focus wasn't, wasn't quite veterans. It was just people with disabilities. And we raised mm-hmm. 10 grand, wow. $10,000 during COVID. And we had two really beautiful sponsors, Cleveland Clinic Canada and Gardner Roberts, which is one of Toronto's leading law firms, they stepped up. Plus, Easter Seals stepped up with a wonderful donation and in a public. So we raised 10, and we're hoping in the United States we can get the Cleveland Clinic USA to be a sponsor, just like they were here in Canada, and other other great companies like Home Depot or uh, Walmart or, you know, and uh, see how much money we can raise for the veterans on February 22nd. So we'll be sharing more details with you uh, it's a job fair, so we're inviting vendors, we're inviting corporations, the public, online and in person, right? So we're, we're covering mm-hmm. both both aspects. So again, it's February 22nd. We'll be uh, uh, sending out more information, and we're actually dealing now with a uh, looking to deal with Atlantic Broadband as the eighth largest television server in the United States to take us right across the U.S. as we work with their partner up here in Canada. So it's it's wow. it's coming together nicely. Um, had some really nice meetings with some congressmen and senators. They love what we do regarding supporting veterans. So there's lots of stuff going on, including, of course, the Super Bowl. And um, unfortunately, oh, and we we're going to mention our one of our hosts, Nick Hurd, 
Nick Hurd was on the, uh, yeah, he was on the long list for the Oscars with his film called Freebird, which would be showcasing Down Syndrome. So uh, a great film, great showcase. Nick was on the long list. Unfortunately, he didn't make it on the short list for the Oscars. But you know what? Even to be nominated, like even to be recognized, see, they flew him to Chicago. So he was in the room with the, with the big honchos. And uh, so great for the community, great for the Down syndrome community, great for Nick. He's such a wonderful guy. Check out Nick Hurd. He's got a show on our dial called Keeping It Real with Nick, an entertainment show where he showcases abilities, including his own Down syndrome. And uh, he's, he's just a terrific guy. So I want to thank you for uh, bringing me on a show today, Rachel. This was, this oh, was my gosh. Fun. Thank you. This was so yeah. fun. Yeah. So I can say, if people want to find more information about the channel, uh, they can go to www.thedisabilitychannel.ca. We would love to uh, connect with the local officials in New York. We'd love to get Eric Adams on the show. Right. Former cop. Yeah. We love our cops. We love our cops. We're big supporters of the cops, military, fire, EMS. So we love to get uh, Eric, Eric uh, Adams on the show and um, see what else. So I'm going to let you go. You just wrap the show. Take, well, take a quick commercial break and you say the last few words if you want and you kick me off the screen because I talk way too much. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. It's so great to speak with you and learn more about the channel. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. Take care. We are unstoppable. We shoot for the stars. And we can achieve anything we set our minds to. We're entrepreneurs. We are community leaders. Athletes. Artists. Organic farmers. We are mothers. And daughters. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. And yet, people with disabilities probably can't use your website. To buy your shoes. Order your food. Apply for your job. To use your data insights. Just like everybody else. For well, millions of Americans. America. Like, like me. me. Like me. Like, like me. 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 Like me. The internet is inaccessible. Hey, if your business has a website, Make it accessible for everyone. Unlock web accessibility with Accessibility. It's simple and affordable. And don't just do it to be compliant. Do it because it's the right thing to do. Web accessibility is Accessibility. Start your free trial today. Hello world, it is Unstoppable Tracy with the Disability Channel inviting you to subscribe and watch live on Roku TV, on YouTube, on Restream and also listen in in Wisconsin Radio, Dave Stevens, all around the world. And on top of all of this, really proud to announce that we now also have a mobile app. So you can download for free, watch Roku TV for free. And the mobile app is free too from Google Drive. Be sure to download it and have it at your fingertips at all times. There's a job platform and there's a live chat feature and there's the TV feature with Roku TV and there's also the social media channels. Take care folks. Bye for now. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for the first Disability Channel Today Show, New York City. Um, we've got some great content for you coming up. So please, please um, keep tuning in. I'm so excited to see where this goes. And I just want to thank again, Accessibility for sponsoring this show. Um, we so appreciate their support and the work that they are doing for web accessibility. So thank you, Accessibility. I'm so thrilled to be here online on a platform that I can see and hear and utilize. Um, so thank you, Accessibility. And what a whirlwind. Thank you, Jay, for being here and telling us more about the Disability Channel and all of the amazing work you're doing for employment for people with disabilities and veterans. And um, we will be interviewing some more disabled people. This channel is run by disabled people and for disabled people. And I'm so thrilled to be part of it and interview more New York City people with disabilities who are doing just incredible things. So thanks again and see you soon.